Okay, here we are, Matthew Russell Lee, here at the Southern District of New York Courthouse, covering the one coin sentencing of Mark Scott the Money Launderer today, Thursday, January 25th, 2024. We just covered it. After we actually, we tried to, and to some degree, got some of it unsealed, at least a letter from uh, one of Mark Scott's supporters, but the, the names, of, even the identities of his clients that wrote in support remain sealed. We'll have to talk about that. But at the sentencing, which just occurred, it took more than an hour. Um, his lawyer, uh, Arlo Devlin Brown, uh, m made a number of arguments that he didn't really know uh, just how bad one coin was, that he really wasn't that prominent a lawyer, um, that he has serious medical conditions, all of which are redacted, that he's, he's, he's not worse than Irina Delkinska, who is awaiting sentencing, that he's more like Gilbert Armenta, who actually cooperated, although he actually violated the agreement. Anyway, around and around it went. Um, Judge R Ramos, I would say significantly, he said he relied on these letters which remain seriously redacted. Of course, not as bad as in Greenwood when all of the letters were withheld. We're appealing that to the Second Circuit, brief due March 18th, 2024. But let's get to the point. Mark Scott, money launderer for one coin, has just been sentenced to 10 years in prison. Now, at the end, his lawyer said he's requesting designation to FCI Miami, not turning in until April. Oh, but we're going to be doing a briefing for a bail pending appeal, which has been granted to Trevor Milton, for example. So we're going to be covering that closely and wondering if it's going to be uh, um, redacted. Somebody said we should leave early to come back and, and cover the Trump uh, Carroll charge conference. We said, and I'll say it here, uh, too much respect for Judge Ramos, despite the ceiling rulings to uh, just split as soon as the number 10 was announced. 10 years for Mark Scott. To be continued, Inner City Press.